Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to the last week. Previously, we achieved the first ending of the game, and now we're off to get the others. So, let's continue off, and try to get some better endings for our very confused main characters. Whatever the- What? Who? What are you doing here? Not today, Batman! Saturday... Da na na na... We survived another day. Good. Oh! Congratulations, the end. There's yellow like gunk. Question mark? We're back. The journey is not over. Far from it. Oh boy. Is that fan always there? Maybe. Exchanging perfection for a far more superior perfection. Do you think that's worth it? I have no idea. Maybe. Do I need my flashlight? Yes, I do. He almost got me. But nope, I'm ready this time. Manly Badass Hero is not going to be cut off guard anymore. He's on top of his game. He knows your tricks. And he knows how to defeat you. We have the technology. It's just too expensive. Yep. So first things first, maybe we should go back and see the computer instructor. There's a little weird pocket dimension. Seriously, what's with all the trophies in the trap rooms? This is what computer instructors get up to in their free time? Take a look. Hey Nappa, it's me. Thank you for your help today. I have something to prepare, so it might not be on time. Can you lend me a hand? Go to the library on the third floor. There's a computer of all the transcript documents. Just put them all out and bring it to this room, please. Okay. Sure thing. Well, let's go to the library. Yep, everyone's still around. Hi, how you all doing? Yeah, I'm not walking into you. Seven four eight six. Interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 you just stay there. Oh wait, I have to turn the video camera on too. Apparently I survived only by a fluke up to this point. <laughs> so you come on down here. We need to get you hooked up on the library books if we can. Hopefully we get you hooked up on the big one here. Cause this one actually gets you really stuck. So don't touch people, don't touch the red. Go into the next area. I think we made it. Turn the flash that off. Ooh, we can charge here. Good. It's a little, uh, a little bit of a funky noise going on in here. Seven, eight, 
four six. Four eight six. Uh did I just kill myself because I chose the thing that says end die? What? Hello. If you're watching this video, that means you're definitely a survivor. You won't survive for the long, though. <laughs> I bet you're aware of that incident to a certain degree. You might be wondering about the reason behind what I do, or not. But it's safe to say this is all still far from what they deserve their wickedness. They sent my daughter to die in exchange with their stupid reputation. Never a shred of sympathy or humanity. It is only proper that they're subjected to such fate. Today everything has ended. The high school will fall, today and forever. That's probably the massacre. School record. Print. So do I get what I need? I have a school record and a school record. Which is the one I need the most? Who knows? Do I have to go for the death trap room? Yeah. Turn on my video camera. Yeah, they're still here. I need to figure out how to get out here safely, though. What do you mean you're not that fast? I just. Do a brisk pace ahead. And then, I, and then if I just remember which one's the front door. Okay, we're out. Then I'm assuming we have to go back. I'll check this corner real quick. Sometimes there's loot, you know what I mean. Uh, we have to go back to the computer instructor's office. There's a person here. Hi. Er, hi. Why have you come to study here? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? No, I didn't come to study. I just have something to do here. Hey, just forget about that. You're a student of Fittisat now. I hope you will answer my question. Why did you choose to study the number one school despite its strict regulations? If I had to say, because my parents forced me to? I don't think any kid would want this for themselves. Then why do you think they want us to become the best so badly? I don't know, weird... evil thing. They, they think it's good for us? Yup. But the good thing... might not be the right thing. Why? Everyone who are studying here, do you think they're all happy? Of course they are. What do you use to back that up? Hey, I am a member of the student committee. I know full well the glee and gloom of every student. I began to understand the crazy visions forced into the mind of children by the school, forced into this girl standing before me. While well, May looked like she's content with how things are as she said those words, her eyes were expressing the total opposite. That means you're still yourself, right? That's good. Yeah, I am what I'd love to be. Figuring I had no business left with her, and this conversation already wasted enough of my time, I said to turn back and walk away. Hold on. The girl hastily grabbed my arm. Her face was plainly more depressed than before. What's wrong? Are you going to leave me like this? You just said you're really happy, so I assume you didn't need any help. Er, actually, what you said is a lie. I'm not really happy. So we don't talk to anybody in the school. You know what? It feels like I'm not myself. Since I got in here, everything was all chaotic. Do you have any idea how hard we study here? Every way, every day's cram school day, no time to rest. Everyone here actually had their own dreams. We dreamed just like other kids. Ratri wanted to be a singer. Baimon wanted to be a ballet dancer. And I wanted to be a cartoonist. Sorry to trouble you with nonsensical stories, but now there's only you left who can listen. No, there's nothing nonsensical about them. What I've heard from you were the most sensible things I've encountered in this school. Do you really think so? Of course, I've always believed so. Thank you for understanding and listening. I'm feeling a lot better now, all because of you. You're welcome. Seeing you at peace makes me glad as well. 
What I'd always been waiting for was to say what's in my heart without constantly arguing. And I've said it. I'm really glad. Because I have to go now. I wish you luck. You too. What was that about? I gave the girl a smile. She returned with her own as she walked away. A sudden light flashed all over the room, brightening the abandoned school. Don't forget to chase your dream! I shouted after her, hoping she would hear me. And there I was, staying still until the light faded away, returning to my, my surroundings to its somber state. That's right. Everyone has a dream. I repeated the words again and again as I walk away, moving out of my own dream. Super soy milk! Yeah. Great. Alright, let's try the other option. Because they love us. This is the other option. Um, well then. I think I like that. So do your parents love you? I yes, they do. In that case, they have made the right decision in trusting the video son. I, as a member of the student committee, along with fellow students, would like to bid you welcome. We are overjoyed to have you among us and become the perfect hope together. What? They will surely be proud of you. What? Come this way. W what are you doing? Students started walking toward me. I struggled, but their numbers were too great. Eventually, my body could feel nothing was beyond my control. We will make you feel it. No! No sooner had my ability to see was severed than I finished the whole sentence. Perfect end. Good student. So let's continue off from the decision where I had the ghost peacefully kind of enter the next life. And let's just get back to the instructor now and walk through the hallway of slow walking. Hey, what's up? Got the stuff? Here you go. Good morning, sir. Did I keep you waiting? No, I arrived here just a moment ago. You put all the transcripts yet. We need to use them today. Uh, yes, everything is alright, sir. Oh, thanks a bunch. If I may ask, is it just me or the curse is actually more aggressive as of late? You said you've got everything under control. Sorry about that. Well, I did say so. I'm still fighting against a lot of the things that still haunt this school, you know. I only have control over the systems from time to time. Not to mention, I just got hacked by that throng girl the other day. If you don't want, know what that means, that basically means... Gaijin. Throng? And Tai. I'm surprised they actually used it in this game, they didn't translate it. Well, I suppose you can, like, do it like that. Otherwise, I would have saved your friend. The way I would have let her become one of them. It's really rough for you, right? Oh, it's alright. I mean, you did get past Friday. And I just found something I truly believe can change your fate. Change my fate? You said if I get through yesterday, I will have a long life ahead of me. Well, it will make you safer. Just maybe on a minor scale. I'll tell you something. I never actually got through to Saturday before. Never mind. So what did you find? I sat down as the teacher rummaged through an old wooden box. What he eventually gave me was a rusty tin box with a conspicuously out-of-place holy mark, anointed using a mixture of marley limestone. The principal kept two pages of the calendar inside this box, hidden away in the attic. It seems he saw certain importance in these two dates, so much they kept them so out of sight. I opened the box carefully, and I found two cold metal plates inside. Flipping them, I immediately recognized the characteristics of the calendar that have grown accustomed to changing after so many days. March 18th and January 7th. They're even way back in the past. Back. Back to the past. Yes, that's why they're important. I wanted to go back to the past and make it right. The future will surely change. And only you can do this. You mean I have a chance to survive? Mostly possible. Oh, I'm really nervous now. Actually, I've already made a plan in advance regarding what you do when you get back. Could you give me a summary? <sighs> Firstly, you can choose only one date. You can't go back to the other one afterward. Estimating the possibilities between the two, and how you need to fix the problem at the roots, I'd say... What? What's happening? The building's getting demolished! What? This is the part where you don't get time to tell me which one to pick. When I got inside, Mr. Wally, the security said the constructor... Constructors will tear the building down on Saturday. But 
Now, let's just get out of here for now. We have to get rid of the chaos of our surroundings and be ready to collapse at any time. The concrete dust are fogging all around, and from a guitar of each passing beat. It seems like this frozen space is affected by the demolition of the school in real time, and has begun to fall apart as well. We should get out of here when the space cracks. This is our last chance. Do you tend to leave your friends here? Many people will be trapped in the school forever. There's nothing to worry about others anymore, sir. Then just go by yourself. Mister! Within a fraction of a second, I looked back. A big pole was felled by an unseen explosion and came down upon the young teacher. Particles of crushed cement scattered like a smog. I can't see anything, not even him, despite how he's supposed to be within my reach. Believe me. Change it. A familiar voice, oddly trembling, reached me from the cloud of dust. Help everyone. I started to run with pain in my heart. The power to set everything is within me now. What should I do? Well, first we should make a save. Shazam. And then we decide. Time to choose. March. That's a later date of the two, though. Maybe bad. Yeah, everything's still shaking. A little weird. Um... Everyone's dead! Run, run, run. Locked. And this was a bad date to come to. Run! Get out! Everyone is going to die! Um, the door is locked. Do we just wait here? To push this in front of the door or something? Get out of the way! No, seriously. Oh my god. I've got the shovel! What did I do? Within the classroom, buried with the stench of blood, and no one is still alive. If those still exist, no one would beckon those who survived to become one of them. If in that instant there was not even a single survivor, then the souls will no longer have any desire to interfere with the living. Well, let's all be fellow prisoners. <laughs> the knowledge of this hellish school, the long of our lives. And to murder. Welcome to this wonderful killing chamber. Why was it just like grab me? <laughs> Bad things. Bad end one. School slaughter. So this date's basically a bad end no matter what. And it's like, that's the date of the massacre. So you kind of like arrive too early. You arrive right on the day of the massacre after everyone's already dead, except for your fellow classmates. So let's do the other date, which is earlier in the year. You know, perfect the massacre, not just arrive during it. Friday, 7th January, 1994. Make a new save. Stop shaking, we're no longer in that area. Locked. Gotta be a little careful, I'm gonna sprint around. But I gotta be careful. I have a lot of soy milk, so I should be fine. Yeah. 
Where's my fellow students? What's up? No, seriously, where's it? Where, where, where is everybody? No, seriously, where is everybody? Maybe they're down this way? Oh yeah, we couldn't access this area before. Cause you know... Killer mascot was chasing... Hey, what's up? Help my friend, please. Sure, how can I help? Escort her to the exit without getting detected by the principal. The girl who looks similar to me took her friend's hand and led her up to me. She seems anxious, like she was in the middle of escaping from something. What's this all about? And who are you? I'm Pim. I came here to save my friend from being sacrificed by the principal. Understand? Let's run for now. Sacrifice? That word again. The disappearance and the thing behind the door are the key of everything. If I can change it. What are you spacing off for? Go! I'll put an end to everything. You. You two hurry up and go ahead. I'll handle this. I walked into the door in front of me. Behind it was pitch dark like a black hole. Don't! It's dangerous! Her voice was coming from behind me. It was buried by the silence within my mind. The 47th year will not be the last one anymore. I whispered softly, hoping that my voice would reach all those who have given up so many things throughout these many years. If there's no sacrifice, a school will fall. The 50 odd students' souls will be chained and tortured. I don't want that kind of future. For that reason, I'll take all the suffering upon myself solely. Stay alive for me, everyone. Good end. Change. Okay, I'll do the other option. Okay, I'll help you escape. I don't know what's going on, but I'm helping you escape. I did as Pim said, aka myself. Held her friend held her friend's hand and ran to the fire exit immediately. Pim, don't leave me! We have to escape together. While we were making a fuss, the plump man in a black suit ran agitatedly from the furthest room. His eyes showed clear sign of unfriendliness. Oh. How did you get out from that place? I took a chance while he was still far off, telling Pim and her friend to go for the fire ex exit. Finally, they complied and ran off together. Next, keep from this school and you'll be safe. You take care of yourself, too. Thank you for your help. The door to the fire exit closed just before the principal reached me. I stood between him and the door until I felt sure that the girls got away. Are you the damn kid who freed my sacrifice? Did he mix me and Pim up? In that case... Yes, I was just helped to protect my friend. Was that a bad thing to do? Do you realize you've screwed my sacred ritual up? What kind of sacred ritual involves killing a child? What good would come out of this? It's none of your business. Get out! Yes, it might not be none of my business. But I know someone would like a word with you. And who the hell might that be? I made way for a group of students who apparently feel deeply vengeful towards the principal. They've been following me around since I came back in time. You're the ones I met in the classroom earlier. When I gave me that possible bad end. You used me. You must pay. Pay as you deserve. I want to go home. You just die. No, get, get away, get away. The principal ran away right in front of the students, having solved the escape, one of the mysterious students walked up to me. Find the scum. Drag him out. Help us and we will help you. So it's some kind of... So it's not just the massacre. The, the, the principal is doing some... some sacrificing of students occasionally. They have like, I'm assuming, the best school in the world. Something... something quirky like that. The story's a little bit. It's a pretty out there story, I'm, I'm gonna say. But not in a surreal way. And just kind of like. There's a lot of out there ideas here. A key? 2222. Two, two, two. Mr. Principal. 
What's the uniform doing here? There you are. Hey, don't get all quiet. Let's talk. Oh, what are you planning? So you were in the suit after all, I kinda figured. Revenge. What you deserve. Are you crazy? Have you all forgotten that you are famous because of me and Vitasat school? But we must pay them with our life afterward. Your agony alone isn't enough. Do you think students are tools for your glory? Does that sound too selfish? Is this supposed to be a Freddy reference also? Cause like, like the, the, the culprit goes into the suit while being pursued by the ghosts? Maybe? Don't you know how, how your sacrifices are kept the school from being in ruins? A school maintained by magical power. Although it may have been shower of much glory and reward. But behind those successes, there are things done in exchange. Like how the special calendar system was used to control space-time. How did the principal learn to control space-time? Or a life of a student every time the year ends over number seven. How could you stay so level-headed with what you've been doing? How did the, the principal figure this out? He, he discovered how to control space-time with a calendar? The sacrifice thing makes sense. How did he learn how to control time? It must be done, kid. There are many parents who expect much from their children in the school. The more glory the school accumulates, the more it weighs upon my responsibility to deliver the results. I've come too far to go back. He's lying. Don't listen to him. Lying? About what? Why you didn't stop? It's not because you couldn't. Because you never wanted to. You've gotten drunk by power and prestige. You can't even call yourself human anymore. Don't listen to this scumbag, Nappa. He's trying to use you as a sacrifice, instead of the one that just escaped. Mr. Principal, you consider these students' sacrifice to be a good deed, correct? Th that's what it's supposed to be, but these kids don't get it. How will we sacrifice you? Well, do you need do, do you to do? Well, I, 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 I get what it means, but it's a little translation error. Well, will you do a good deed for at least once in your life? You, you want me to offer myself as a sacrifice? Sorry to disappoint you, but the sacrifice must be a female student with a perfect academic record. Then you're all set. Oh. What are you wearing? Uh huh? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I heard that you told everyone to treat Rian D with another student in your school. I also heard that Rian D is a nice girl, and she's all very good at studying. Isn't that right, everyone? Now it's your turn. No, no, I don't want to die. The old man in the mascot costume tried to struggle for his life. However, it looks like it's too late. Why can't I remove this damn costume? Well, it's time to end everything. Thanks a lot for your hard work. Saving under an evil person. And they waste that the red outlandish figure could creep into the room. The figure visibly reacted to the offering, rumbling and oozing yellow fluid. Oh, that's what I was chasing in the one hallway. The yellow. This is the curse behind the glory of Vitasat's school. I hope you enjoy this meal, as you should, for your 47 years of service. No, don't eat me! No! Ah, he's alright. The screaming was loud and non-stop, as the souls of the sacrificed students slowly fade away. They all softly said their thanks before the door closed, signifying that this is the end. As for me, I turned back and left the room free of any desire to look back, not now and forever. True end. Sacrifice. Um, can outsiders enter here, sir? Well, what business do you have here? Well, actually, it's nothing important. I just want to visit here. Daddy, open the gate for her, please. Pretty please? Ah, uh, children these days. They just don't know a thing about discipline. Oh, well. I don't know why children these days don't know why it isn't the good manner, but, well. 
With the gates slid open, Molly and I set our feet into an ordinary school named Vitasat School, which looks especially peaceful today. I'm finally back here. This place actually looks pretty lovely. Wait, so if your incarnation didn't die, then how did you reincarnate? Napa, have you stayed here before? Maybe I have. <laughs> before I even finished my sentence, Molly's attention had already been directed elsewhere. She made a beeline to an ice cream cart. Such a Molly thing to do. Every day after school, Molly will cross the road to find her father, Mr. Wally. This time, I tagged alongside her, thinking I'd pay this troublesome little school a visit. Everything is normal now. Good riddance. After the principal was killed by the unidentifiable thing, the school was in a panic for a long while. It was only after rumors started to die off the next year that he reopened and began accepting new students once again. The world had changed since I rewrote the past. Although I couldn't fix Pim's death, that might be the very reason I still exist. As far as I know, everyone, everyone that's still alive is happy. Molly and I are still close, and she no longer feels embarrassed by her father's occupation. Wait, no, so Pim still died? So the massacre still happens? Maybe. No, because the other students survived. I don't know. Miss Kate is now a teacher, and the place she teaches at is no other than Vitisat. Another thing to know that she looks a lot more wrinkly, whoops. Also... Oh, where have you been, sir? I heard your accounting program for the school cooperative just crashed. They want to fix ASAP. Oh, is that so? I'll get that right away, then. The computer instructor ran past me without looking back. The way he rushed off is the goofiest thing I've ever seen. You never change. I smiled to myself. While I looked, took my walk around, I thought about what I encountered in the past. Even though no one else remembers it, I still do. This school really has changed so much. Still, I'm really happy I came back here. Although, Vit although Vitasat School is not the renowned number one school like it once was anymore, it's instead become a school filled with happiness and peace. Perhaps perfection may not always bring about happiness. Conversely, passion and free will are the path toward true success. I hope every student who was imprisoned in frozen space will now have a bright future winning ahead of them, except for all the ones I murdered. They're stuck in the void. We don't talk about that. They might already be out there, searching for their passion and living by their own decisions somewhere. On the road of dreams and futures free of boundaries, walking towards one's own goal. Same as you and me. Well, no, actually, now that I think about it, it makes sense. I guess the massacre still happens? Because Kate and all of them were alive in the, the present day. So I, I guess they're later generation students now that I remember correctly. So that's it for last week. I have kind of a mixed opinion about this RPG Maker game. It has some actually interesting ideas. It does some kind of cool things here and there. Uh, it, its pace kind of goes between being way too slow to being actually pretty great. And it has some of that fast paced you open the door and it's a trap, or this is a trap. Like, I like that stuff. I, I, it's kind of like the equivalent of uh, B-movie schlock for me for these type of games. And the plot itself tries to do something kind of interesting. I'm not sure how much is lost in kind of localization and translation. As it's actually not that bad, but it definitely needs some localization passes to make things a little more smoothly readable. And quite a bit of the storyline is kind of info dumped. Uh, there is some hitting towards the beginning. You guys kind of seen that Five Nights at Freddy influence of the way the mini games and stuff, and I I'm 100% sure that is a Freddy reference. That's not just a very similar idea that has to be like very similar. So I, I see where they're going with this. I like some of its surrealness and some of its confusingness. It kind of reminds me a little bit, of, like I said, of a. Uh, I think I said earlier in my playthrough, like a bit of a David Lynch thing. Not, not as smart as David Lynch, obviously, but I like where they were going with it. The execution of that and some of the other stuff is a bit weak. So, that was about some of my thoughts about this. It's barring translation, assuming that's some of the issue for some of the things with the storyline. It's a game that has good structure and execution issues all around. So, not terrible. At times, even actually pretty fun or interesting. Other times, not so great. I think there is a prequel. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a kind of like sequel prequel, kind of like the Star Wars movies. Or if it's actual an actual prequel, and this is a sequel to another game that has not been translated yet. But uh, I'm hoping, I'm wondering if that game kind of fixes some of the issues of this and makes the plotline a little more interesting. 
But aside from that, this is my journey with last week. So I'll see you guys later and take it easy.